we were both Larry, and we were both at an impasse, because we were so broke. I had a bike that I used to take around LA. I was, I was in good shape. And um, we were looking at each other, because you know when he first moved out there, we hit all the bars, all the clubs, all the um, writer conferences. We did everything just to try to beat people in LA. And we met like two. <laughs> Because, you know, a, a lot of times everyone has their cliques. And so it's hard to kind of, you know, establish yourself in there if they haven't already heard about you. You know what I mean? So we were sitting in the bed one day. And um, he looked at me and he said, you sure you want to do this? And I, I remember saying, man, I don't know. My belief was starting to waver. I was like, man, I don't know, man, this is much harder than I thought it was going to be, especially having tasted that first penthouse experience to now being knocked back a few steps. So we went out, got some food, and talked a little bit more, and uh, went to go visit a friend of ours who was a, um, a popular video director at the time, who, we, who was one of the two people we had met. And um, she was like, you know, because you know, she could see that we were more, what are you doing? No, I'm good, I ain't thirsty, I don't need you. You know what I'm saying? Just mad for no reason. And so she was like, what's wrong with y'all? Because we were known to be the hype boys, the hype, you know, hype, what's going on y'all here, baby? We're Indiana in the building, baby. You know what I mean? Like, she knew us from that, from that per persona. So when we stepped in there, you know, doom and gloom, she was like, what's going on? What's wrong with y'all? And so we, you know, I was like, man, I, just, I don't know about this. She said, whoa, 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 whoa. You are here for a reason. There's a reason why you pulled yourself up out of Evansville, up out of Orlando, and now you're finally in the place where you can make it, and you don't think you can make it? I said, well, I didn't think that I could make it. You know, it's just, you know, people ain't really, you know, they ain't really respecting me, they ain't really listening to me, you know what I mean? I feel like I got good, good ideas. So what was I doing? I was having a pity party for myself. I wanted to whine a little bit. And she brought me back to reality, saying, it's not about that. Stay in it. Go back to the studio. Write another song. Go to a concert. What are they? Get back in it. Get back in the game, so to speak. And so I can remember, which is the, re the reason I brought this up, is that I can remember points along the way in my career where people have spoken to me that way. And I believe it was God speaking through people, telling me there's something greater for you out there. You know, so that, hopefully, is what this can be for you today, is that this can be, I can impart, because I don't know everything. You know, I, I might write a book one day, but I haven't written a book there, but there are certain things that hopefully I can impart on you that can give you a little bit of a head start you know, in this career. So I'm looking forward to your questions, and hopefully I have some answers for you. And, uh, Let's get it going. Let's do it.